So we're July 7th at Tree Time Greenhouses. I'm with uh, with Kaylin. <laughs> Kaylin's our inventory manager. And of course, we're reviewing a whole bunch of the uh, cold hardy peach rootstock that we have. This is the uh, Chui Lum Tao. Uh, and they're growing quite nicely. There's there's one that's uh, going to be too small. We have to thicken that one up, or it's not going to uh, not going to be uh, past quality control at harvest. It's just not getting any uh, any light, sadly. That's what happens. We do get uh, we lose some because of that with some of our growing methods. We have chosen to chop some of the tops here to uh, to give some more light to it. But these are all growing really well. They're filling the cavity. Uh, it looks like they're going to be a nice healthy stock, a healthy crop. We got a little bit of. Um, uh, uh, a, color, a discoloration of the leaves here that uh, ind indicates we had some nutrient uptake issue. We're not sure exactly what it is, but we got a grower that's aware of it and is working through it. Uh, these are uh, quite attractive and doing well. We have some other ones. This is the Siberian sea peach here that's, that's back here. This is a Siberian sea peach doing quite well. And then uh, that's more of the Siberian sea peach doing quite well. And then we got... There's another one that we have here as well. I'm trying to remember the name of it. Nope, that's not it. I believe this is it. This is the Chui Lum Tao Peach is what the tag is saying. So there's more of that. There's actually uh, three different types. Uh, the Siberian Sea, the Chui Lum Tao, and the Sui Tum. I'm saying it wrong. I will try to get it right or check out treetime.ca for updates. We should have these available for uh, after harvest and available for purchase beginning in November of 2022. Please take a look. Get yourself a cold hardy uh, peach root stock and they also produce fruit and uh, they are edible. Uh, maybe not choice edible, but they're, they will survive and produce fruit in uh, colder regions.